So the cooler temperatures may have prompted you to go out and take a look at your apple tree or some of the fruit trees that you might have in your yard. And you may be looking at them and thinking, oh my gosh, there's smudges and things on my apples. Well, what can be causing that? So I wanted to address that topic a little bit today. So take a look at this apple that you see here. The thing that the homeowner was curious about were these black spots that you see here and these smudges that you also see. So they saw smudges, they saw spots, and then they also saw these pits that could be caused from an insect. So you can see with this apple, there are actually more than, than one thing that's kind of working on this fruit. So what is it? So if we take a look at that apple, the smudges are something that's called sooty blotch. And I think that this one, as well as the other thing that's causing the little black pinpricks, is called fly speck. Both of those are very common and are often called just autumn diseases. They're just very, very common in our fruits. Both of these are types of surface fungi that do not cause any kind of rot or anything with the apple. You can scrub them off to make them look a little bit better and they're perfectly fine to eat. It's just a cosmetic issue with that. And also, since it is a fungus, it can be controlled just by maintaining good air circulation. So pruning your tree properly and letting the canopy be open enough that air can flow through, that's going to be a good way to manage that without using any sprays or herbicides. And the fruit is perfectly edible as well. Then the third thing, the pits that you see on the fruit, those are probably caused by a critter of some sort, coddling moth perhaps, or plum curcuyo, but those are two very common bugs that might be attacking the fruit. In all of these cases, if you see the fungus or you see the pits, it's really too late at this point to do any kind of herbicide or pesticide treatment. All of that would need to be done earlier in the spring, right after the blossoms fall off of the flower and the ovary that's left there. But the main thing is that the fruit is perfectly edible. You can still peel the fungus off of the apple or peel the peeling. You can use that apple to make apple butter or press it to make some apple cider. It will still taste really, really good.